Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. I wanted to shout out something that somebody did that I thought was really cool. This is my Consumer Protection Wiki, or due to the ac horrible acronym that would make the Consumer Action Task Force. And on this, you can search for many different products and you can find out how you are being effed in a really interesting way. It goes over arbitration, it goes over privacy, right to repair, when a company changes the terms of the sale, a permanent, a permanent or perpetual licenses that turn to subscriptions, all that type of stuff. So let's just take this as an example. So LG had an issue with their refrigerator where when you would have a problem with it, they were not covering it under warranty. And then they were saying that you couldn't sue them to get them to cover it under warranty because there was a forced arbitration notice on the box. You never see the box because the delivery people take the refrigerator out of the box because it will not fit through the door of your home in the box. You don't see the box of the refrigerator in the store because you only see the display unit. Therefore, you would have no way to ever actually know that there was a forced arbitration agreement. In spite of this, they went out of their way to actually make this argument for a long period of time. Now, the entire point of this wiki is to try and make consumers aware that these practices and also help with purchasing decisions. So this is a browser plugin that somebody made, and I hope that this gets worked on and improved upon massively, that actively searches the wiki when you're looking at a product page to tell you whether or not that product or that company has an entry in this wiki so that while you're on the product page, you could realize if I buy a refrigerator from them, oh, yeah, they're going to take the warranty away from me and say that they have the right to do it because something that was written on the box that I didn't know. If you're about to buy an LG television, we have an entry on how LG televisions have a do not sell my personal information option that is on, uh, is actually off by default. Do not sell my personal information is off by default in a 77-inch LG D3 OLED that this actually shows up. I think this is an absolutely awesome idea, and I would love to see more of this. Uh, thank you very much to Mr. Wayne Keenan for coming up with this. There's also somebody else that emailed me about this, and I think I accidentally deleted it, so I feel absolutely freaking horrible about that because I emptied my trash right after and only realized it then. Uh, hopefully it was this guy, actually, because I feel bad if I'm not giving a shout-out to both of them. My apologies if you're the other guy whose email I deleted. I, I think this would be awesome. There's a lot of people contributing at this point in time. If you take a look, like the last seven days, like look at Waldo, Costas, Mingai, Shingo, Keith, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce this dude's name. Uh, this is just going over and over. Like, these people are freaking killing it. I am almost not even on the top 10 anymore with all the articles I've written because of everything that everybody else has been doing. And I really enjoy watching this turn into what it has turned into. And the idea of having a browser extension, something that alerts you to what's in here. Because this is, this is a crowdsourced thing. You can edit this if you want without even creating an account. You do not have to create an account here to add to this. All you have to do is follow the guidelines and make sure that your article is part of what we're looking for on this mission statement over here. We have moderator guidelines that go over what creates an acceptable article. If you meet all that stuff, then we're good. Um, anybody can edit this. You don't have to log in to edit. You don't have to register to edit. We have a moderation team that's looking at this stuff all the time rather than having a small moderation team that go, has to automat manually approve everything, which creates a lot of delay. I want to turn this into something that matters. I want to turn this into something that actually changes people's purchasing decisions. Maybe something that actually gets a senator or a legislative aide to realize what's going on and pre present something, give a shit, you know. Thanks for helping out. To everybody who's helped out. Waldo, Costas, Mingai, Keith, all of you. Everybody else in that list. And this dude that made this browser extension. This is awesome. I would love to see this continue to develop into something amazing. Can you imagine being on a product page and just having a little alert, warning, Forced arbitration used to void warranties. Warning spies on you without your consent. I'm telling you. If we work together, we can really start to push back on all this shit. Thank you for helping me with it all. I appreciate it. So does Blackberry. She also appreciates the greenie. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. And thanks for helping out.